Well, one night I was scrolling aimlessly on YouTube, watching videos on how to uh, make food because I don't know how to cook. And I think the YouTube algorithm got me to a video with the title, What Happened to My Country? I'm not interested in telling you uh, about the contents of that video, but that question got me thinking, what did happen to my country? We have all the resources possible. A country like no other. A country that has everything. Yes, everything. How come we cannot make this country work? We have a rich culture, a rich heritage and religious guidance that the whole world is seeking. A climate to boast about, be it cool, be it warm, anything within a span of three or four hours. Beaches to die for, a working class that is formidable and robust. Natural resources the world is looking for, Ayurvedic medicine that is unique only to Sri Lanka and many, many, many more things. And yet, we screwed it up. Well, when the blame game went around, we blame the politicians, we blame the authorities, we blame regional actors, we blame global politicians, poli uh, global politics, we blame China, we blame COVID. We blame each and every one we could find. So accordingly, we needed to be on the right track, isn't it? Because after all, we found the culprits and blamed them. So now ask the question, why is it not so? The reason is very evident. We haven't blamed the biggest culprit of all yet. Us, our minds and our way of thinking. If we blame the politicians, then ask who got them to power. If we accuse the authorities, then ask who got them uh, go scot-free without holding them accountable. If we blame the regional actors, ask why we were silent when their affairs were affecting our way of life. Finally, if we blame geopolitics, then ask why we were so clueless about what was going on and didn't take the necessary precautions. Right now, the narrative is as such, the clowns of 2015 to 2019 and their puppet masters who managed to get rid of, a, get rid of one nationalistic president back in 2015 by investing heavily in the opposing candidate, managed to do it again in 2022 to secure their investment. And now the same repeats with a new set of fools who slave them. So the question is pretty simple. Are we letting them defecate on our way of life again? Or are we going to do the same? If we are going to keep quiet and turn a blind eye to the BS agenda that's going to take center stage very soon, then in a few years time know that you too may have to deal with BS like this. I, I got to say, there, there's kind of a, a basic irony here. I mean, you're what? lecturing us about sexism while you're sitting right now in Manhattan. <gasps> Manhattan. We need to rename the city then. Um, the, yeah. the, the, the Big Apple. The Big Apple would be less offensive. So I feel that I'm sitting in the Big Apple, not Manhattan. So um, they're trying to avoid the word man. So as, if we can eliminate that word, then things would be much better and people would be less offended. Well, what if you lived in Manchester, Vermont? Well, they would, might have to change the name of the city uh, if people agree with Purdue University. And Purdue University found that things need to be updated, and they updated their writing guide to take out these words that apparently are offending certain groups of people. Okay, so just to make sure I understand the yeah. rule, if mm -hmm. something offends somebody, even yeah. if you've never met that person personally, right. Right. You have to change it. So doesn't that mean that a small group of super unhappy people get to control what the rest of us say and think? Well, perhaps they're ahead of their time. Maybe this is something that is offending a small group, but the group's going to get larger and times are changing and our language is dynamic. Webster keeps adding right. new words in the dictionary. So our language needs to change. And a term that used to be non-offensive, like man made and male man now needs to be changed. Do you think they would have the guts to go to gold man sacks in New York and say, change your name now or else? They probably wouldn't shop there. They probably wouldn't shop there because <laughs> what if they were because shopping the name, at Goldman Sachs, they the might name. come up short because it's a bank. Because the name man is adult male. And yeah, we need to we need to change it. Manhattan. We had to get rid of it. Uh, the question 
for you and me here in Sri Lanka is that are you okay that these clowns will turn our country to be just like what's happening in America? If you are not, then we have to do something about it. We'll be right back.